Hi everyone. Today we are going to see about how to download a file in REST API by using Spring Boot. The first step I am going to download the Spring Boot project from start.spring.io website. Here generate a Gradle project and provide a group ID and artifact ID. Artifact ID I am giving file download demo. We need to write a REST API, so I am adding the web dependency here. Click the generate project button, file will download. Extract the project and import into your Eclipse. Just copy the project location path and paste it into the your Eclipse. Use existing Gradle project option and then paste the path here project root directory and click next and click the finish button the project will import in your eclipse once imported successfully go to the build.gradle file and just make sure the mm -hmm. spring boot shorter web dependency is added or not and go to the the main application class file at spring boot application annotation is added here now i am going to write a REST API so we need to add the at REST controller annotation to support the REST API at REST controller annotation is added I am going to write a new API to download the file so the request mapping I am giving the URL path as download and then the request method I am giving get get API so whoever calling this API the file will download automatically so I am giving the request method as get now I am defining a method for this API this method will return the response entity object and then the method name I am giving download file and then it doesn't have any arguments so just I am importing the all the necessary input packages the response entity request mapping request method and everything this file should have the return statement I mean sorry this method should have the return statement so I am adding the return the return should be a response entity so here I am giving new of response entity and then the HTTP status code should be an OK, the 200 success. So here I am adding the string success. Now we have to write the logic to download the file. Now I am just declaring a, I mean, uh, creating a new class. The class name I am giving CSV data. Here I am going to add the attributes. The attribute name one is ID and another one is the name and another one is the number. So I am going to create a setter method and getter method for this class file attributes. Okay, so ID, name, number, attributes are declared. Now I am generating a setter method and getter method for this class file. Okay, CSV data class file. I mean this is a model class file is generated successfully now I'm going to create a object for the CSV data class file so CSV1 in the CSV1 I am just uh, adding the values the ID should be an one and then name I am giving talk to Amareswaran and then I am giving a number for this a record I am giving a number as 5601 the next one is I am going to declare another one I mean define another one uh, object for CSV data CSV data 2 here also I am setting the ID name and number ID I am setting 2 and name I am setting Amareswaran and then the number I am setting like uh, 8710 okay so there is two csv data object is uh, defined now i'm going to add those uh, two csv data into array list so while downloading a file i'm just i'm 
going to loop this list and then write the data in a particular file i mean the csv file and then i am trying to download that file this is the logic i am going to write now i am just adding the csv data object into the array list okay csv data list dot add of that argument the csv1 and then the csv2 now the csv data objects are added into the array list now i am going to loop this object and then write the csv data into the csv file so i'm just looping the object csv data i'm just declaring a class file the csv data so i'm just declaring now the variable file content i mean i'm using a string builder so string builder object to write that content into the file the string builder the string builder the initially i am just adding some data here the heading heading of the file like uh, id name and number this is also a comma separated value so i am giving a comma between the attributes okay so id name and number i am adding a file into the file content after that i am adding the file content into the id name and number with the comma separated as a delimiter so csv data id and then i am just appending the comma separator and then i am getting csv dot get name so id name and number i am writing into the file content object with the comma separated value so here i am adding csv dot get number and then i am adding the last one the next new line in the end of the every file content okay now the string builder have the file content now i am going to write the file content into the one of the file object so I, here i am declaring the file name the file name i am just giving my location path okay look at here so this is the path i am going to write the file in my system csv data dot csv the file name is a csv data dot csv and then the file writer object i am creating so file writer object is used to write the data into the particular file so file writer object i am declaring here for this file writer object we need to provide the file name as a argument so i am giving the file name for this file writer object also we need to add the throws declaration otherwise we can use a try catch block so file writer so in the file writer dot write method is used to write the file content into the particular file okay so here look at the uh, file content is written successfully into the file writer object now i'm going to create a file so to create a file we need to declare the i mean define the file object so file object is defined so next step if you want to download the file we need to add the input stream resource so by using the input stream resource we need to provide the file input stream of the file object so this is the way to download the file from the server by using an rest api so also we need to add some http headers to support to to support download the file so these are the http headers we need to add the content disposition the content disposition we need to provide the file format like uh, attachment and then the file name we need to provide also we need to add the no catch object so otherwise the catch will come so i am adding the pragma headers to define a no catch a and then the expires time i am giving is in uh, zero and then 
this method as a response entity object so i am returning a response entity with the headers and then the content length of the file object and then the media type should be an application or text so and then i am adding the resource into the response entity body okay look at here so the file writer looks like uh, it's not a closed object so now i'm going to remove this io exception declaration i am adding the whole content into the i mean inside the try and catch block i'm going to close the file writer object into the finally block so here i am adding the try and catch block and then the file writer object i am declaring into the outside of the try catch by initially it should be a null object in the finally block i am just checking if it is not null then i am closing that uh, file writer object okay look at here so inside the try uh, try block file writer object is declared and the file content are written in the file writer in the finally block i am just checking if the file writer is not null then i am just closing for this we need to add the io through uh, throws declaration for the io exception okay the finally block is also written and then if any error came in the catch block so we need to throw a uh, i mean we need to send the response for that particular api so i am adding the response entity object as a error occurred and then the http status code i am giving internal server or something okay i am for so far i am giving http status code as okay I, okay i will change that internal server error no issues this should be add in the catch block so if any exception or occurred in then the catch block will execute it will return the response like error occurred with the internal server error http status code otherwise it will the file will download automatically okay so this is the api i have written now i am going to call this api via web browser the file will download automatically into your machine okay so api is written successfully now i am going to run this project first we have to take a build of this project go to the command prompt and then uh, paste the location take a build by using the command gradle clean build okay uh, gradle tasks are executing now starting demo and then uh, compile java start resources also all the tasks will execute okay compile java task is executing and then compile test java some test cases are trying to run but there is no test cases it will skip automatically now the build is successful go to the build and lips directory run the jar file by using the command java hyphen jar under the particular file jar okay look at the tomcat is started on the port 8080 okay in the console log it will printed so now go to the web browser call that uh, download api localhost colon 8080 and then the api is download okay look at here the csv data the csv file is downloaded successfully just save the file and then go to the uh, directory the download directory open this file okay look at here the csv data is written in the particular file and then it will downloaded successfully by using the rest api you can open this csv file into your excel also so it will be clear now okay look at here there is two records are added i mean written in the csv file so this is the api i have written to download the file by using the rest api in spring boot application thank you for watching this video please subscribe my channel to get more video alerts